Hey guys, how we doing? Welcome to the gas station vlogs. Today we're going to talk about um, why brake lights won't turn off on your Sonata or any other car that may have similar um, equipment on the brake pedal. Um, sometimes there's a light that shows up here. It's called ESC off. That's the traction control showing that it's off. Um, that usually can be solved as well by replacing what we're going to go ahead and show you today. So let's go ahead and go to the bottom underneath real quick we'll go to the brake pedal i'll go ahead and show you what's going on for this project you may need a 12 millimeter um, a lot of people use a 14 um, for this one i didn't actually have to replace my brake light switch uh, if you do have to replace the brake light switch well i will which i will show you you will end up having to use a 14 millimeter for my quick fix i ended up using a 12 millimeter so i'll show you what i did and maybe you can do this too and save a couple bucks all right let's get down there so Here's the brake pedal, follow it all the way up, okay? This right here, see that? This little black and gray? This right here is your brake light switch. So, there's a little 14 millimeter bolt, okay? And um, you can see it right there by that metal piece, okay? Right here, this bolt, okay? And then if you press down, you'll notice this little switch right here this is what tells your brake lights to be on or off this little tiny piece okay so this can be replaced it's about ten dollars this is the brake light switch you just unscrew it from here with this 14 millimeter bolt unplug this little piece right here and it should have two prongs or four prongs depending on the gear of your car but what i ended up doing i didn't even have to replace this it was just this piece the little aglet type thing um it's like a little a little plastic uh, pop in and basically the little tube piece that goes inside of this hole broke off and then the circle piece that was surrounding it snapped in half and fell out so basically there's a hole in here and then this goes straight into the hole and it doesn't get depressed like it's supposed to when the brake comes back down from being pressed in you know so basically it leaves the car thinking that the brake lights are still being engaged because this is not being pressed back in at all this little piece of the brake switch right there so what i did was take this i put a bolt right here a nut i mean and then i put a, a, a screw in the into it and on the other side of this as well let me see if i can show you like right in here in the back there you can see another bolt I just put two bolts to make it a a um, like a little clamp section. So it's one it's one screw with a bolt all the way tightened. Put it through the hole, and then on this side, here's the other bolt connector right here that is using to depress this little switch. And now my lights don't stay on in the back anymore. So if you if you notice that when you go underneath your brake pedal this little piece like if you don't see anything right here that maybe you should go ahead and look into possibly replacing that somehow or making a quick fix out of it kind of like I did with my nuts and bolts now if you replace this or you come down here and you see that you actually do have this little aglet piece and this is being depressed in this little piece of the brake light switch right here this knob and you notice that that is being depressed in um, you may have on your hands a faulty brake light switch and it may just need replacing. Um, very simple. I uh, hope this helped out. And if you still happen to see the ESC off um, light on your dash, once you replace both of these things, um, if they need replacing, then you may want to just go take it in for a quick inspection and make sure everything is okay with your traction control and your suspension and your braking system. All right. Have a great day, guys. Thank you. Bye-bye.